What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. So today Apple released watchOS 7.2 to the public. This means that if you have a supported watch device, you can easily go into your system preference and then update your watch. It's very easy, very simple to do. And this is the official release and it's by no means a beta. So I'm already updated and as you can see, my watch is up to date. And this is not just the update that Apple released today. Today has been a busy day for Apple. They released iOS 14.3 to all supported devices. They also released iOS 12.5 for all the iPhones. So if you have an iPhone that doesn't support iOS 14, you can check out. There might be a software update. And also they released Mac OS Pixel 11.1 for all supported Mac devices. And also they released tvOS 14.3. So make sure you stick around and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of those updates. This is an update that I believe should have been released as soon as this Apple Watch Series 6 came out because it brings about so, so many new features and changes. And Let's quickly get into the new features and changes and we'll begin by looking at the software changes that came with this update. So if we go into settings and then go to the about this watch section, you can see the build number that we have 18S563. That is the version that we have here. And let's look at the new features and changes that came with this update. Now, this watchOS 7.2 supports Apple Fitness Plus. Finally, Apple today released Apple Fitness Plus and you have to have a Series 3 or later and have watchOS 7.2. Now, in order for you to use Apple Fitness Plus, it works hand in hand with the workout app. So this app that you see here and on the iPhone, you actually have to have iOS 14.3. So if you go there, we are going to be using the Apple Fitness app in order to do this. And as you can see on the bottom of the phone here, we have summary and then we have a section that says Fitness Plus. So this is available in the fitness app, as you can see. And when you go to the Apple Fitness Plus section, it will actually tell you from right there if your Apple Watch it gets three months from Apple. If you're a first time Apple Watch subscriber, then you get three months from this. And as you can see, you can choose from a variety of workouts like yoga, core, strength, treadmill, cycling, rowing, dance, mindful, and this other one. There's about nine of them and you can sort of browse through this week and you can also try to play a video, but if you haven't yet subscribed, then it will actually tell you to try the service or sub subscribe. So I will do this and set it up later, but this is all possible because of watchOS 7.2 and iOS 14.3. You need to have both of those software updates. The downside, I would say that since Apple Fitness Plus came out today, it's not available to all countries and region. It's only available in the US, in Canada, Australia, Ireland, New Zealand, and UK. So your region might not be supported right now because it was just launched today. So keep that in mind and it's a great new service. It's something that I believe should have came earlier on in the year when they perhaps introduced the Apple Watch CB6 because gyms by that time were closed and hardly people did anything when it comes to workouts. So it's now available and this is uh, supported. And also something that came with this update has to do with the new Apple AirPods Max. They are now supported on this device. So irregardless of the app that you use to play music, whether you use the Apple Music app. So as you can see for me, if I go to the Apple Music app, I actually have have nothing because I don't use the Apple Music app because I but I use Spotify right here so if I was to go there and play a song and you can see that I have the option to actually select either my iPhone and if I had the AirPods Max I would be able to select them from here so that is something that came with this update it's good to see that it's supported with this update and it's a good thing and also something that is major Apple is focusing a lot when it comes to health with this update and it has to do with your card your fitness level notification so you can get notifications from your fitness app and also your apple watch when your cardio fitness level goes low and how you are going to access such information will be through the health app so if you go there and then you go to the browse section here so go to the browse section and then when you go to where it says heart you can see if you browse down a little bit you see where it says cardio fitness level and if you click there you can see sort of my cardio fitness level and if you do a workout for like 40 minutes or a hike or go for a jog 
you'll be able to see your information gather up here i don't have a lot of time to work out and so on but anyways if your readings are above average it will actually show you and then if high this is how it looks like below average and then above average below average and then low this is what it looks like if you click on the little eye that you see there so say for example your cardio fitness level is in within this range or is in the high range it will actually tell you that high levels of fitness can substantially improve the long-term outlook for your health and this is how above average looks and let's say for example your cardio fitness level is low or it's in within that range it will actually tell you that low levels of fitness are associated associated with substantial long-term risks to your health so this is not good and I'm, uh, I'm glad to see that mine is above average but now you can get cardio fitness notifications from your app and also this is where you can view the information on your iPhone and you have to have iOS 14.3 so like I said the health app has been updated quite a lot so if we go into the health app and then go to the heart section and then browse down to where it says ECG and if we scroll down to where it will tell us what has been updated with this update when it comes to ECG it will tell you that the ECG app can now check for arterial fibrillation AFib at higher heart rates or let you know if your results are inconclusive due to poor recording so this is something that's possible because of uh, watchOS 7.2 and iOS 14.3 and once you click continue you actually come up to this page for me if I click continue here it will say ECG update is not available in your region but more countries are being added slowly and this is something that you can check out if it's supported and available in your region which is a good thing that came with this update and also another change that came with this update has to do again with the ECG app so this app is now available and supported in Taiwan I believe before there were issues with that when it comes to the health authorities but now it's been passed and it's available in Taiwan and you have to have the Apple watch series 4 or later for you to be able to get this ECG app which is a good thing and also watchOS 7.2 now supports braille displays with voiceover so if it's some Something that you use you can actually set it up in your settings and also your voiceovers and be able to use this it's not something that I use myself but it's here with watchOS 7.2 if you are a family person and you actually have family set up on your Apple watch now it's supported in Bahrain Canada and Spain and it's for the cell version of the series 4 and later so if you have that Apple watch and in those regions you can now set up your watch for family setup which is a good thing that came with this update now those are the major features and changes that came with this watchOS 7.2 I seem to be enjoying it so far in case you are curious if you want to see how my battery is performing if we go to the settings and then go to the battery section which is right here you can see how my battery drain has been so it's not like a drastic change like what was happening on some betas you can see that the battery drain is more or less constant and I actually charged it in the morning to 100 and right now it's almost 4 p.m. and you can see that it's on 71% and I've been using it trying to see what are the features and new changes that came with this update so I've been using it quite a lot and I wouldn't complain when it comes to battery performance and in case you are curious this is my battery health that you can see here and as you can see my maximum health capacity is on 97% so this is how this update came in for me on my Apple Watch Series 6 it's an update that I'm uh, going to be using a lot and trying to see what more I can utilize when it comes to this update I would say the downside that most people are experiencing when it comes to this update has to do with Apple Fitness Plus itself so a lot of people actually have MacBooks and Apple Watch and as you know Apple Fitness Plus is only available to the Apple Watch and for you to be able to watch videos with trainers you have to have either an iPhone an iPad or an Apple TV if you have a Mac since the Apple Fitness Plus service works with the fitness app on these devices and the Mac doesn't have that and you actually can't play 
videos using airplay so if you have a tv that has airplay or anything like that you can trim your videos to that so it's a bit of a downside to this and i hope with future they can actually update this fitness app either to include airplay or bring the service to the market and other than that that's how this update is for me on my apple watch series 6 uh if i if i find anything new or any major changes or face any issues i will update you on my social media handles or right here on youtube and other than that thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video if you like this video a like would be good but a sub would be even better stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon peace